Hello everyone! So here's a set of nails I did ooh, about a week and a half ago now actually. Oh, maybe two weeks ago. I've been really bad at voicing my videos. Um, and this is one of my regular clients. Um, I've removed her previous set down to a thin clear base, done all my natural nail work prep. Plep. I say that so regularly. Prep. Blah blah blah. Um, and now I'm coming in with a uh, clear base. And then I'm going to come in with a cover pink, and I'm trying to remember which one I used. Waiting for the brush. Took me ages to pick up that bead, didn't it? I'm gonna say... Beautifully Buff. I seem to be all over the Beautifully Buff at the moment. Yep. From HD Nails. And I'm just doing that from the Cuticle Area and blending down. And then I'm going to come in with some of these really awesome micro shards. I'm sorry that my tripod was kind of like flinging all over the place a bit. It's got a bit of a rock on. Rocking all over the place there. Not any other meaning for that phrase. <laughs> I know some of my viewers have some very dirty minds. So um, I've used a small bead of acrylic to pick up some of these micro shards. Now these are like the mirror shards but they're cut finer. Um, so they're super super micro teeny tiny mirror shards and this is in slate so I'm just creating a faded tip with these micro shards then when I'm happy with that faded tip I'm just going to cap that nail in clear acrylic so I'm starting just by the cuticle area gently blending back and then I'm going to pat tap pull it down making sure all of that glitter goes nice and matte so I know it's been encapsulated and just blending that all the way down and creating that shape and structure of the nail And then on the next nail, I've again applied that thin clear base and then I'm coming in with those micro shards and this time I'm using the champagne glitter, champagne colour even, and I'm going to apply these in small amounts until I've got a full nail. Um, I always make sure I use small beads of clear acrylic just to pick up small amounts of the shards and then use the tip of my brush just to nudge them around into place until I've got the coverage I want. And then moving on to the next nail and I've done a thin clear base and then I'm adding this blue colour now I mixed this um, the products I used and the ratio I used are in the description below um, I mixed this using HD colours there's a bright blue one I think it's Joe and I mixed it with a white um, to make this really nice kind of Wedgwood bright pastel ish blue and I'm going to apply a few beads of that but paint it on so that there is um, a full colour nail. crystal clear and um, I just wanted to leave that glitter to kind of set in place a bit before I capped it so it wouldn't move
there again, capping this now in crystal, uh, crystal, acrylic, crystal clear. Oh my god, I'll get there in a minute. It's confusing when you use two brands. Um, so whenever I use a colour, even though I could have used this as a strength, I prefer to save my colour and then cap in clear. Small bead of acrylic and then I placed it on the form paper and I basically flattened it out into a very long rectangle. And then when it's looking matte, as you can see I tested it there at the end, but it wasn't quite ready, but the rest of it, as I could see, was setting. The ends I'd put a little too thin, which is why they took a little longer to set. And I left that off the tab, and then I'm just using my dotting tool, and I'm just going to wrap it around my dotting tool. And I just made six or so of these. This is a really great one to do because I could do this before my client came in. Once it's set, I just popped it off the end of that dotting tool. So when these nails are finished and filed, I got a small bead of clear acrylic. And then I got those roses that I previously made and just placed them on. Now, depending on the size of the roses that you make, um, the width of the acrylic um, rectangle you make. You might want to file off the base. I use my e-file just to file a slightly rounded base um, and take off a little bit of the height so that it didn't stick out too much but it all depends on what your client really wants. So I'm just going to leave that to set a bit and then we're going to come in with some white acrylic and I'm just going to add the leaves. So this is good so you can kind of cover up a bit of that clear acrylic and I'm just going to add the leaves so that design flows a bit more with the nail. As you see I'm working on a non top coated nail, I just find it helps these kind of designs stick and adhere better if you do it onto a filed acrylic and then later on I will put the top coat round the design. And once I'm happy with those um, leaves, I'm then going to add some crystals. So I'm using the crystal Swarovski crystals in size SS3, 5 and 7 from the crystal shades wheel. And then I'm using some rose gold beads from Hazel Dixon. And then I'm just going to just help this design flow using my gripper glue just to add these on, just to um, add a little embellishment around the edges.
And then I'm top coating all of these now, so I'm using my CJP LED Top Gloss on the nails with the glitter. And then I'm going to be using my Ugly Duckling Matte Top Coat on the full colour nail. And then once it's cured, just removing that tacky layer and then adding a bit of cuticle oil and we're all done. So there we go guys, that is, that is um, one of the sets I did recently with some lovely 3D roses and some of the new micro shards. So I hope you've enjoyed this guys and until next time, see you soon. Bye!